going to invite two very special guests here tonight to explain to us how they light the Hanukkah. They're two of the very first rabbis, the two people who really started the, the millennia-long argument of Judaism. So please give a warm welcome to Rabbis Hillel and Shammai. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. It's so nice to be joining you on this night of Hanukkah. Yes, Hanukkah Sameach. Oh, Shammai, look. Oh. It's a Hanukkah. It's perfect because it's almost time to light the Hanukkah for the second night of Hanukkah. Well, my friend, Shemai, yeah, yes. tell me something. How do you light the Hanukkah? Well, tonight I'll be lighting seven candles. Because, okay. see, on the first night I start with eight candles, okay. and then I take one away every night because the oil got less every night oh, of the miracle. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. But you know, wow. I, Rabbi Hillel, have my own way of doing it. Oh? Yeah, you see, I start with one candle, and then I add another candle every night, so there's more. More light every night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would you do that? Well, that's a fair question because to me, the longer the miracle lasted, the more miraculous it became. Every night they thought the oil would burn out and it didn't, the bigger the miracle got. Oh. And the more the Maccabees didn't give up in fighting the war to win their right to practice their religion, uh -huh. the more impressive their efforts became. Ah. And you see, to me, yes. the light on the Hanukkah represents the miracles in the world. And I want to remember myself to spread light in the world. Oh, very interesting. But my friend, yes, what my do friend. you mean by spreading light? Oh, fair question. Sorry I didn't clarify. You see, to me, spreading light means spreading joy. So for example, I might volunteer in a soup kitchen ah. and bringing food to those that don't have enough to eat. I feel like that helps me make the world a brighter place. Oh, I understand. Yes. You're making people feel warm and safe exactly. and happy. Exactly. It's not so literal. You see, spreading light is a metaphor. You see it? You see it? With all this light, how could I not see it? Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, yes. You know, Hillel, yes. I'm really into this spreading light concept. Excellent. In fact, I have a way to spread light right now. Oh, do you? I brought you a gift. Oh, wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Open it. I feel such joy receiving this. Great. Oh! Look at that! Uh -huh. It's a little, it's a little dreidel, and it plays. Oh, it plays the song, and it, and it doesn't stop playing the song. <laughs> yes, fantastic! Wonderful! It's right? so warm and fuzzy and soft. If we play the game with this, yes, still playing the song. If we play the game with this, we'll feel all warm and fuzzy inside. That's right. I'm sure it will bring much joy to both our lives to play a favorite game with a favorite friend that plays a favorite melody nonstop. <laughs> It is really still going. So, yes. you know, there are so many different ways to spread light on this holiday. And we have all of these people here. And I'm wondering if my friends in this congregation and my friends watching at home on the live stream, hello. Hello. I'm wondering how it is that you spread light. So I'd like to ask you, how do you spread light in your lives to the people that you care about? So go ahead and turn to the person next to you and discuss this question, how you spread light, and then we'll, we'll collect some answers in a moment. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yes. Great. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited to hear how, how all of our friends spread light. Oh, we have an answer right up here. OK. To be nice. To be nice. It does, it does make people feel a little bit more light when someone is nice to them. True. So, so let, this time, let's have you introduce who you are and who you worked with. And what did you come up with as your way of spreading light? We'll take a few more answers. My name is Phoebe, and I work with Chloe. And I spread light at my school by doing toy drives. Oh, I loved my Hanukkah gift, and I bet that other people love receiving gifts on the holidays, especially if they might not be able to receive them any other way. So spreading gifts is a way of spreading light. Yes. 
I worked with my, I'm Jackson, and I worked with my sister and mom, and we think to spread light by filling other people's hearts so they're happy. Oh. oh, so spreading happiness. And you know, we don't all feel happiness in the same ways. True. So filling people's hearts in the way it brings happiness to them. To them. That's beautiful. Yes. Should we take one more? All right, one last one. I love that everyone wants to share. Yes. I'm Lindy, and I worked with Maya and Harper. Oh. And the way I spread light is going to All Souls Soup Kitchen. Oh, oh just like you! Just like me. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And you know, we also started by the year by donating Sadaka to the HUC Soup Kitchen. It is a wonderful way to spread light. Yes. These are all great ideas. These are great ideas. I want to spread light in all these ways. Yes, you know, these are such good ideas, my friend Shemai. You might say this is one bright congregation. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. You know, hello. Yes, you might. I oh boy. I am so inspired by spreading light in all these ways. Yes. But I have to say something. What? I am going to continue to light the Hanukkah my way. Well, you know what? That is your right. I respect your opinion. And I'm going to keep lighting it my way. And everybody else can do what they like. I wonder what everyone else is going to end up doing. Well, I think we'll leave that for future generations to decide. They're going to do it my way. What was that? Nothing. You know, let's go get some latkes. And we can put applesauce on those latkes. I like sour cream. Oh, we can't agree on anything. Oh, you. Oh, you. Give me a high five. Oh, yes. Oh, you do it down there, too. That's what... Young people. So many ways. Yes, let's give a big round of applause for Rabbi Hillel and Shammai for teaching us.